tarot reading and fortune telling has been a form of survival for Romani people because it was one of the only practices that they could turn to. In my community, the Romani community, almost all the kids grew up in psychic shops. There are thousands of Romani people living in Los Angeles. It's one of the most misunderstood cultures in American history. LA Times newest podcast, Foretold, explores the myths of Romani culture through the lens of a local named Paulina. LA Times reporter Faith Pinu joins us this morning to tell us all about it. Good morning, Faith. Hi, good morning. Well, Faith, first off, let's get some background for those who may not know much about the Romani people. In the podcast, you talk about how their beginnings go back to 1000 AD. Yeah, I mean, the Romani ethnicity has been around for millennia, but that 1000 AD date is when Romani people who originated in India are thought to have departed India and then migrated into the Middle East and throughout Eastern Europe and the rest of the world. So pretty much for the last 1000 years, Romani people have been in diaspora. Oh, very interesting. And Faith, in this episode, you clear up some Romani stereotypes. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, there are so many stereotypes that enshroud the Romani identity. Um, in the first episode, we spend a lot of time talking about fortune telling um, because the podcast main subject, Paulina Stevens, was raised to do fortune telling. So ever since she was a little girl, she was learning how to read poems and read tarot cards um, from her mother. And her mother learned it from her mother, and it was passed down from generations in their family. And this is the case for a lot of Romani people who are fortune tellers. Um, it's a traditional trade in the in the uh, culture and it also originates in india and it is a transportable means of income which is important because romani people throughout their history as a diaspora have really been chased from place to place um, because of laws literally banning them to settle down and in some places banning them from practicing fortune telling um, including in california by the way which we talk about in a later episode in the podcast so fortune telling has been this mobile business that Romney people have been practicing for generations. And it's a form of um, help and healing for a lot of people. Uh, the word in the Romney language actually translates to mean healing, reading, advising, that kind of thing. So it's, a, it's sort of an art form, it's a business, it's something fun to do. And for Paulina and a lot of her family members, it's also been a way to help people by literally reading them. Yeah, that's so interesting. And Paulina talks about a certain word that's popular in culture, but it's actually a slur to the Romani people. Let's take a listen. I don't think I had ever even heard the word Romani before. And that's because Romani people are often known by another name, you know, a gypsy. You're not going to hear me throwing around the G word on this podcast, because for many in the community, it's a slur not for outsiders like me to use. But at the time, I had no idea, because even a pop star like Shakira casually throws around the G word. It's set against this catchy, poppy backdrop, like something you'd instinctively hum along to. If you weren't paying attention, you'd never notice the lyrics are actually overtly offensive. Cause I'm a gypsy, are you coming with me? I might steal your clothes and wear them if now, this is so informative and so eye-opening. Really Thank you is. so much for joining us, Faith. Thanks so much for having me. And you can hear new episodes of every Tuesday. Just go to latimes.com.